what is going on creatives? Let's talk about color grading. Now, typically with Mid Journey, we use a style reference. We have image reference. We have image weight and we have style weight. So we have all of these things to manipulate the image. But the question is, can we actually impact the color without impacting the style? And typically how we would do this, we would take the image and put it in Photoshop and we would color use, uh, we would color grade it. We would just hue saturation, you know, all the type of ways that we use to color grade an image. Yeah. But what happens if I take something like, let's go to trends and I'm on Adobe color here and I come here and I see a color palette that I like. And I want to apply this color palette to my images. How can I do that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about because this is the original image. And these are very simple prompts. Uh, so I use the man wearing a business suit standing at the bus stop and pretty much all of them same. I just changed the characters, changed the individuals. So if we take a look at these images, you can see fairly straightforward images. I didn't do anything special when creating these. Here's the lady in the park. And here is our girl on the train. Standard photography and our guy in the grocery store being overwhelmed by his toddler. Doesn't look so overwhelming right there, but that was the prompt. And the... so nothing special about the images. But what we're going to do is we are going to take a look here and see what happens. What happens if I do a little color grading here? So in the first one, here is the prompt. Same thing. I just used this color palette. So I downloaded this from Adobe color and I just applied it to the image. I use a very small um, style weight, 10, and you can see what the impact was. Pretty much the same image, but we got our orange and teal to kind of show up versus what we had before, almost a little orange, only yellows and stuff coming from the light. But this time you can see that orange and that teal kind of come through in this in this case, a lot more. All right. Now, here's the thing too. I changed the style weight and you can see this time I used 300 just to illustrate that what happens if you use a high style weight with these color palettes. And what happens is, is that the color not only comes through, but the geometric shapes start to impact the image as well. And that is the reason for the much lower style weight because of we don't want the shapes. We only want the color. And you can see what happened here is that we we got some of the color in, but we're getting those shapes. And actually, this one's pretty cool, but that's not what I want. All right. So one thing about this one is that if we go to the original here, you can almost see that with these four images, there's not much of a difference. I think there's a subtle hint change in the saturation. But even on some of these images, uh, not really. And the color palette I used was this one. Okay. And what that tells me is that if there's some dominant saturation, dominant colors, that that style weight, we may have to up the style weight. Okay. And we can see here, we go to, yeah. we go to her where this is the color palette. So we got our white, we got a red, we got black, gray, dark gray, light gray. And you can see in these images that that red shows up compared to the first one. And you can see the black 
the the black almost acts as a desaturation. That's what I've noticed using this, that when you add black into your palette, it's a desaturation of color, not making it black and white, but desaturation of all of the other colors. And you can kind of see that here with this image. You can see we get more red in that maroon is showing up in major points. So you can see the maroon showed up with this. So the maroon showed up and we desaturated the image in a way. And same thing here. In this case, you can see again, I used a just a really just shades of black, shades of gray and black in this case. And it did what I expected is that desaturation of all of the colors. Okay. And so this, again, was a style weight of 10, and we just get that desaturation. I up the style weight to 15 just to see what happens if I start upping the style weight. So up at 15, again, you can see what the difference is. It's that black and that gray that's desaturating. And here I'm all the way up to 20. And so you can start to see black. You can really start to see black. Like here, there's no black. At 20, we are really starting to see the places where black shows up. And you can see that contrast. That that contrast really is kind of coming through the desaturation, the color of the clothes. You can see the color of the clothes is muted. So at 20, it really... Uh, did something I, I kind of like this is almost looks like a camera raw type of look but that's what we got okay so then I went back to these and what I wanted to see was what happens if I put the 20 on this one and again you can see what's happening we get more black showed up and I which I do like but we get that little spot of the maroon little hints of the maroon and this one you can see more maroon showed up there but there's a lot of black again more maroon showed up maroon showed up but a lot of black and the same thing so 20 i think is about the max that you can use and in this case again we went back to the guy i put in 20 just to see what would happen. And you can see that orange and teal really, that the colors really popped. If we take a look here, you can see a lot of blues and then this pop of orange. And you can see a lot of blues pops of orange. The orange more dominant here, but here's a lot of blues and one big pop of orange. Okay, so I did like that now. For this one, what I wanted to prove out was this. Style weight with the color palette versus style weight with an actual image. So this is the image that I'm using. And I like the colors. I like everything about this. And I came in and did my style weight of 20. And this is what I got. In a way, you can see this starts to the styling of that other image starts to show through because now this doesn't look like a photography, like photography. It looks like a painting. Now, this would be one where we could just go in and say, let's take it down to 10, take the style weight to 10 and see if we can get back more of the photography look with the colors. But the colors did come through on these images. It's just that also that style came through. You can see it in the faces and everything. So yeah, that is, that's the one thing about this that I wanted to want to see. And we go back to the like, lady in the park where I didn't think that at 10, we saw that much of a change, but at 18, you can see that those blues 
the blues start to show up. Okay, with that hue of blue starts to show up in the images. Okay, really noticeable difference here where you can see the blues, even in the pigeons, you can start to see the blues. Okay, and I just dropped it down to 18, but that's what I wanted. I thought. Okay. <laughs> now, we go back to the original one. We took this one and we dropped it down to 10. And you can see there is a difference. We're back to using the photography. We're getting the colors, but we're getting that photography. But I think the palette, I think using the palette is where you see, because these are dramatically different um, in a way. They're dramatically different in a way versus what we get when we use the color palette. I think I kind of feel like we get more control, especially when you see something like this. I think you get more control. So I think this is a viable tool for getting the colors that you want to finding inspirations, going to Adobe color, downloading a color palette, and then style referencing that color palette to get what you want. Understanding that, 20 it may be as high as you can go with the style weight uh, because if you don't put a style weight in we're just going to remove that hit enter and now we have no style weight whatsoever in here uh, you can see a dramatic difference so it has merit i think it's just a nice little tool to have in your back pocket just in case you need it so that's for that's kind of my opinion of this and you see what we're getting here and you see it's not as bad the problem really is with we've lost the dramatic scene because we're bringing in the shapes and you can see that in here where it's a lot more geometric. You can see how the shapes is. Everything is kind of well-defined shapes. And I think that's where the issue comes in at when you don't have a low style weight because you can see what is done. Okay. All right. So that's it. I think we're done here. Um, use it. I think it's a great tool to have in your back pocket. All right. I'm out.